Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. Last episode. We, um, start- we got betrayed by DeSanta. And we did a Luisa mission, too. And, well, okay, now, I'll get to that little rant later, because this is the only flaw I think I find in this game. But anyways, I'll get to it later. Anyways, let's go start this next Luisa mission, which I do believe is the last one. Captain DeSanta's Downfall. Ooh, I like the title of this. What is it? Oh my! John, John, thank God you have come. That wretched animal DeSanta has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulcro. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and <laughs> yes. all of his other followers. About time to Go finally now. finish DeSanta off. Will show you the way. I will stay with the camp. Okay, now we need to ride the Scupolero. That's the graveyard that we did the even parent mission with. Now, like I said before, my only gripe about this. There was a missed opportunity here. What I mean by missed opportunity is this whole Rebels versus Alliance. Or the or Rebels versus God, they're talking Star Wars now. Uh, Rebels versus um the Mexican army situation. They have a morality system in this game. They have this moral uh, morality of fame and honor uh, implemented in this game. They could have made a good opportunity where he made John choose a side here. He could side himself with um, the Rebel Lion. God! Stop with the Star Wars references. But anyways, they could have had an opportunity where John side with the army or the rebels, influencing which um, which side he was on. You know, he'd be good for the rebels and evil for the the army. They had a missed opportunity here, in my opinion, because well, that could have made things a little bit interesting. Because either or, you would end up either killing Abraham Rise or Alinde here later. I'm not spoiling anything, hopefully. But uh, you guys probably understand what I'm saying. They have a morality system built into this game. So, actually, it would kind of make sense. They had a missed opportunity here, in my opinion. But anyways, that's just me. Now, enough with the ranting of the game here. Let's get up here and go up this way. Wow, that crow glitched out. Wow. I think that might have just been the game itself. Give him a chance to escape. Yeah, really. Freaking DeSanta. Seriously? Freaking DeSanta. Now we need to capture DeSanta. We need him alive. We can't kill him. Okay, so we need to make sure that, yeah, capture him because he needs to tell us where Javier is. So let's take him out real quick. Golly. Okay, seriously? I don't like fighting in this graveyard. Mostly because of all the bullcrap I have to do. I have to get behind a grave now. The bush here. Okay, come on. Come on, dude. Okay, I'm gonna shoot him in the leg. Okay. Come back here, DeSanta. Time to hogtie you. For all the crap you've done to me. Freaking jerk. Anyways, let's take Mr. DeSanta to the cemetery entrance. Oh, jeez. No. You, sir, have done me a great harm. Now, I'm gonna get my information I seek. I just love that shot right there. It's John just punching him. Go back to your 
country. Where is Javier Escuela? Boom. <laughs> Gosh. Casa Madruga. It's all that there. Hurry up and kill me. Or just let me go. Okay? <laughs> Can we kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? <laughs> now I have an option to either kill him or not. Think about your family. Let's kill him. I don't care. Now we're even, Captain. Stupid son of a bitch. Now we find your friends. Are you crazy? We cannot stop now. Gosh. Let me see what he has on him. He only had seven dollars. Come on. You can't give up. You had only seven dollars on you. You're a freaking captain. You're the freaking captain of the army. <sighs> God damn. Come on. You can't give up now. Let's go. <laughs> I am glad it was you, Mamadi. There's some things you gotta finish yourself. Yeah, it's something you gotta finish yourself. Come on. Yep, he will. I'm going the wrong way. What? Yeah, right, dude. I just, but that that's like one of my favorite scenes is when John is pretty much torturing DeSanta before he finishes him off. <coughs> but you can always, you can also have the uh, the. The rebels kill him too. I mean, it doesn't affect anything, but yeah. But yeah, that, that that's one of my. I'm so glad we got rid of that guy too. He was just a jerk. But like I said before, the game had a missed opportunity there with the morality system being Im implemented already. Let's go here. We was friends once, long time ago. Not anymore. No, I had to search for Javier. Uh oh. Is it always this quiet? Defeat the Mexican army here. Come on now. Stop that. Okay, we better hide. Getting hurt. Why am I having a pistol? Oh yeah, that's right, because I used it on Javier. Oh no. Not Javier, the Santa. Execution style, bitch! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Let's take care of this, these guys. I think the last one I'm just gonna... What the? What the hell? That was a weird glitch. There. Execution style. Hey, you lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela. Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. Wow. You shut up this place for him, huh? <coughs> Pretty much. I don't blame you. The captain de Santa said he was here. <laughs> I don't believe him. You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place, sauce. <laughs> <sighs> Even in the end, freaking de Santa. Lion son of a bitch. Wait, was that my horse? Was that my horse? I don't think that was my horse. I really hope it was my horse. I think that was my horse. Yeah, that was my horse. Because that is a different horse than I've had before. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. How do you get caught up in the co crossfire all the time? Freaking lose my horse steed all the time. My gosh, man. Freaking ridiculous. Anywho, I'm gonna cut. Um, actually, hold on a sec. Excuse me a little bit. I had a belch there. Um, 
We're gonna go do the next Abraham Rise mi Well, we're gonna start the Abraham Rise missions, because we finished Luis's missions. So, I'll cut there, and I'll see you guys back there. And I hate this horse already, because it has low stamina. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, guys, we're here, over here by, uh... The Abraham Rise mission. We're gonna start that. And actually, I wanna say something real quick. I'm going to get a new horse probably in the next area because there's a particular horse I like that has a lot of stamina and it's really fast and I'm going to see if I can capture it. But that'll be then. Right now, let's go ahead and activate this Rise mission. The Great Mexican Terrain Robbery. I swear, freaking rebels are like uh, obsessed with the ch with Steve or something. Because, like, all their missions revolve around the trains. I'm good, sir. Took down Santa. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo! Here! Well, 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 look who it is. <laughs> the American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution. I don't know about that, mister. <laughs> no, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you, or me, with, with just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, send my people... <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry about that, folks. Libre Mexico! It's like, f I have a bad feeling about him, though. He's liking the power too much. Uh, but they, yeah, with that really, he's starting to take in the power too much. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I you I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. For your people. I thought for a second there he, he put out the fire with a spit. I was like, holy crap, man. You got a really powerful spit then. Okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Okay. Alright, let's do what he says, because I think this guy will lead us to who we were wanting to get. Finally. Finally find somebody that can actually get us to Mr. Um, DeSanta. Or, God, I can't even talk about it. We killed DeSanta. I, if it's if it is, if I'm mixing, mixing up DeSanta with Javier, or it's always mixing Javier with DeSanta. Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We, we were friends once, once yeah. Lots oh, changed since then. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to run into you. We are friends. I hope you will give me some warning if you get the sudden urge to kill me. <laughs> You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure. Carajo, cuidado, John. That much I know already. You told me you'd found him. And I will. What? I have my very best man working on it. <coughs> oh my gosh. You're lying to me, Reyes. You'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. <sighs> Well, I, I can benefit with John here because I would be kind of getting sick and tired of people telling me the freaking false information. We gang together under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids, lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. Kind of saved us. Criminals. Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. Yeah, oh, really. he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. I guess that would be the best way to say. Power was rotten. The good people had been crushed for too long. And he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Make America what he felt it was supposed to be. America. Like the sound of this man, Dutch, another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know, but I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. Again, <laughs> he was yeah. insane. Lost faith in everything, in everyone. Man, really. Dutch is a character we'll meet later in the game. 
And John is quite right about what the way the best way to describe him now. Bullfight? That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballet. Huh. A musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are oh my gosh. About me. Dude. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm returning to Ray's game. I just got kind of caught up at the moment. I freaking hate this horse. I'm sorry if anybody likes these kinds of horses. I just hate this. Because now my horse is freaking dead. That really bothers me. I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Yeah, something must have made him that way. That way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez. Our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything wow. comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then his son takes his daughter outside and rapes it. That's a very specific... Wow, that is really specific. How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America, they told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. People, people are poorer poor than ever. Are. Yeah. <coughs> are we gonna get to? Oh, there's Steve. I was gonna say, well, we're gonna get to the damn train. No, oh, come on, game. Seriously, stop making me crash into things by accident. There we go. Now we're all caught up again. I think we're finally getting to the train. <sighs> I wish I had a better horse. Like I said before, after this section, after Mexico, the Mexico chapter, I'm gonna go find a different horse that I particularly like to use. Now we're here in Chupulosa! Again. Again. And again. We're always here in Chupulosa. Oh, that's why they attack the trains. Okay. 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 But listen, we've got to get this done before the train runs out of the station. Speaking of trains, here comes Steve right now. Well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? <laughs> Freaking train. Take this knife and use it to kill the guards. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, John. Okay. Now John is given if I remember correctly. Throwing knives. If you're spotted near the train, the guards will attack you. Yeah. Sneak into the train. I'm not gonna waste any more throwing knives. Hold on a second. Can I duck? Yeah. Okay, let's just sneak. Crouch with the... Uh, I just did that. You can crouch in this game to kind of sneak across quietly. And also, we got throwing knives. Throwing knives are exactly what they are. They're just knives that you throw. <laughs> and then we could just pretty much... The, the, you have limited a ammunition of it, though. They're usually one-hit kills. <coughs> They're usually, I should say. Anyways, let's get on to the train. You gotta take out the rest of the guards. Now let's... Just, or we'll just do that. Okay, that was really glitchy and really violent at the same time. Let's throw that. There we go. Another guard here. Where you at? Oh, he's right there. There we go. Now where's the last guard at? 
Oh, he's right there. There we go. Take care of that guy. Get back our throwing... Oh, yeah, good thing about throwing knives, you can get them back. After you killed a person with them. So now we have to disconnect and detach the train cart. There we go. Now the train just leaves. Goodbye, train. Take control of the Gatling gun. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Okay, let me back on my throwing knife. Throwing knife! I actually like the throwing knives. They're actually... There, we got rid of him. Now I have to take out the go. Oh, are you still? Holy crap, you're still alive! Oh my god, how the hell are you still alive, sir? I thought I freaking stabbed you. Okay, let's just take these guys out. Okay, hold on a second. I, I am not good with this Gatling gun at all. Seriously, I thought I was pretty decent with it. Let's just take you out. Oh my god, okay. Come on. Freaking dudes. Freaking dudes. Okay. Where are you at? Oh, there you, there's one. Got rid of you. Now I have two more. There's one right there. Now where's the last one? Peek your head out, dude. There you are. And get over to you. Now I have a bunch of other people coming from over this end. <coughs> Come on, dude. Peek your head out, dude. Come on. Come on. I think we have to go and kill him manually now. I'm gonna get my repeater out. Let's come on and headshot you. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Headshot. I was like, boom. Headshot. FPS Doug, man. I freaking love FPS Doug. He's funny. I was like, boom. Headshot. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Headshot. There you go. Now I have to pull the brake lever to steal the train. Now this train is on its way. Actually, I'm just wondering. If this did, did this train have like two ends for to go and whatnot? I wonder. Anyway, Steve's grandpa is taking the army supplies to us now. The Great Mexican and Train Robbery. And now let's take the train all the way over here. We stole the train. Yay! You move like a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Yay! Blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. And actually, I think this from this mission you can, yeah, plant dynamite on the armor, another armored, onto the armored car hatch. Okay. <coughs> so we're not quite done yet. Hold on a second. Okay. Jump up here. Come all the way up here and on this car here. And it looks like we need to place dynamite pack here. <laughs> this is like the old West's dynamite stick. I do like this. Now I need to Now I need to get the hell out of run from the safe distance. Whoa! Need to. Good lord. Now we can open the hatch. Yeah, maybe Elende has another gift for us. Now we have to go loot the armored car. And you know what? We get ammunition supply from this. So this is good. Ammunition supply is always welcome here. i just climb on down. Just slide on down here. Let's open this safe. <coughs> oh, crap. We gotta do this. Ew, crap. Okay, move the right stick for the first number of the combination. The dial is moved to the opposite direction. Must start over. We have to move the 
to the right until we find the right number. Okay. Now we have to move it to the left until we find the right number. Just wait until it keep moving until the the locks moves. And then keep doing this. Come on. There we go. Now we crack the safe. I think you only do that a couple of times. Let's take all this ammunition. And there's also a letter here. Huh. I think that was a pardon letter. Ooh, a new pistol. We got $200 from that. Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Now I have to return to Rise. And revolver ammo times 17. That's good. Oh, that was the money I looted from the people. <coughs> now what else did I get? I think I got a pardon letter from the looks of it. Dinero, that's money in Spanish. I didn't remember that. <laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and the Squaler are holding. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh. <sighs> My spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. Good. Get that out of the way then. Now that we've completely finished this one up, I think this is a good stopping point here. Hopefully, I think the I think the mission's done. I mean, I mean, we pretty much did everything that he wanted us to do. Yeah, the mission's done. There we go. Fame went up a lot. Holy crap. Anyways, we finished the mission. We got a bunch of stuff. And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. So in the next episode of Let's Play Red Dead Redemption, we are going to go back and finish up the Abraham Rise missions. So I will see you guys in the next episode.